What's up, YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope everybody's doing well out there on this Friday. I'm doing good myself, you understand? Shabbat Shalom to all the brothers and sisters in recognition on this day to observing. You know, all praises to the Most High. Sundown this evening to sundown tomorrow evening. Let's get some praises and worship in, okay? We need it as a people. We need to gather back to our power, okay? Um, this is a story right here, and it's uh, messed up. It's very messed up. Come out of uh, Cleveland, Ohio, okay? And uh, apparently, it's a man that's on the loose trying to rape women. And uh, the police... Well, they 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 was in the right on this one. You understand? I mean, you can't have uh, men, anybody running around doing what you are about to witness this man doing in this video. You understand? Raping somebody and shit. You know, can't ride with this kind of behavior. You know, and I and I cannot and I will not argue with the what the police did to him. Check this video out, and then I'll get into my commentary. We brought you the breaking news last night. Officers shot and killed a man holding a woman at gunpoint. Tonight, there are plenty of questions about this deadly incident. See a New Yorker's been in East Cleveland all day. She joins us live with what she's learned so far. See ya. Tiffany and Chris, yes, there are still very, a lot of questions, but we can tell you that woman is recovering here at University Hospitals uh, where she's being treated. Now, in the video you're about to see, the woman did her best to get away from this man, uh, but he was still able to hurt her. We want you to know that this is very graphic. Here are just a few of the 911 calls from Tuesday's officer-involved shooting at Coverty Park Apartments in East Cleveland. Some of the callers said the man was raping the woman. Please, what please. please. Is this the number one cell? No, this is the Superior Road. Superior Avenue, 13955 Superior. Your mother's yeah. being raped. Stay on the line with me. This is video from a police officer's body camera as they got to the scene and approached the man standing over a woman. They screamed at him to drop the gun. Drop it now! Now this is video posted from Facebook. You can see the man grab the woman by the hair and smack her in the head with the gun. That's when East Cleveland police officers open fire and shoot the man. Police continue to fire, but the man keeps going after the woman, even after he's hit with several shots. The man finally falls to the ground and the woman crawls away. More than a dozen shots were fired and it took 14 seconds from the first shot fired before the man went down. Oh my gosh. Police say the man died at the hospital. Again, that woman is being treated at University Hospitals. Now, at this point, police have not said what the relationship is between that man and the woman. We're not sure if they knew each other or if he was a stranger. Now, the Bureau of Criminal Investigation has taken over this case, and we will get those details and bring them to you on air and online. Reporting here in Cleveland, CNN New Yorker, 19 News. Um, yeah, dude put himself out there and he got just what he deserved. You understand? Uh, <laughs> I saw the video, you know what I mean? Where they didn't freeze the actual footage. You understand of him being shot. I don't know what he was on. That's all I can tell you. I don't know what he was on, but when they shot him, you know, he stood there, he bounced a little bit and he continued to come at the woman. You know, as a matter of fact, the part where you saw him slap the woman with the pistol, I heard a shot go off prior. I mean, just when he, at the timing that he, you know, shot the woman, you know, with the pistol. And it said that he actually, you know, she was hitting the arm too. So I don't know what was going on. And also there's some other um, news as well. Before he allegedly raped or tried to attempt to rape this woman right here, he had uh, went to rape another woman in an apartment complex. And she happened to, you know, break away. And, you know, you can hear, you know, some young brother and uh, I think uh, 
you know, and her sister say, you know, this dude trying to rape my mama, you see. So, you know, you can't have this kind of shit running around in a society. That's what's wrong with this, this country now. You know, a matter of fact, this world, you get, get somebody, you know, with, with it in them that think they can go out here and, you know, do as they will to somebody else, you know. Don't force your bullshit on somebody else. He got what he deserved, you know. But we're going to get into the story, you know, and just kind of browse through it. Uh, East Cleveland, Ohio, the Ohio Bureau of Criminal, uh, Bureau of Criminal Investigation taking over the case after East Cleveland Police Department confirmed their officers fatally shot 48-year-old Maurice Brown Tuesday afternoon. Officers said Brown failed to obey officers' command to drop the gun he had pointed at his victim's head. That was true. You know, we seen that. Police said officers respond to 13, well, 138.55 Superior Avenue for a report of a rape in progress around 3.40 p.m. on Tuesday. According to police officers on the scene, they were confronted by Brown with a gun. He approached the female victim with the gun pointed at her head, according to police. Police said officers command him to drop the gun several times before officers fired and struck him. In a video posted publicly on Facebook shows police screaming at Brown who was holding a gun, you know. I don't know what possessed that dude to go out there and do some shit like that, you know. And I'm I'm telling you right now, it's more than likely, you know, they do an autopsy on him, they will find some sort of drugs in the system. I'm going to tell you that right now. You know, cuz it took a while for him to fall after they shot him somewhere around 7 to you know, 11 times. Somewhere around there, you know. But to continue, uh, they were telling him to drop, well, drop it. But instead, he turns to the terrified woman he's holding on the ground and hits her with it. That's when Cleveland police officers open fire. But the video shows Brown continuing to go after the woman, even after he's hit by several shots. She crawls away, however, it takes 14 seconds from the first shot was fired before he hits the ground. Brown and a female were brought to the university hospital where he was pronounced dead, according to police. Police said the woman is still being treated for wounds she sustained from Brown. Yeah, well, from the Brown. <laughs> That's what it says. Let's see. If it that was crazy. From the brown. Yeah, uh, this dude, man, you know, come on. You, you can't be doing shit like this. Uh, uh, you know, see, you get on these drugs and shit, and then they get, you know, loose in society, and they think they got the right to go and live out whatever the little sick fantasy, you know, that them drugs telling them that they want to do. No, you can't have that kind of shit. You know, I, I mean, like I said, I cannot fault the police for doing the job at this point because after all, that is somebody's mother. That's somebody's sister. That's somebody's daughter right there. You understand? And he had no business with no gun out there trying to rape that woman and even trying to rape the other woman prior to this, you know, sick, sick, sick. But y'all tell me what y'all think about this uh, situation right here. I'm interested in hearing y'all thoughts on this. Uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and please remember to live your life as though we are being watched simply because we are. This is James, and I'm out. Peace.